My name is Jim Tomlinson from All American Water, located here in Wise County, Texas. And we've had the opportunity to use somebody's well house that has two different kinds of tanks in their well house. Now this morning we're going to talk about the both, one of which you're going to have in your house. Here to my left and to your right is what we call a bladder tank. Now typically bladder tanks are mo more often than not blue. In this case, um, this one is white. Another way you can tell that it's a bladder tank is because it's got a spot up here for a valve stem. And this is where the air is put inside when they're pre-charged. Now, a bladder tank works kind of like this. Down here in the bottom is a bladder or a balloon. And your water is, comes into here. This top part is charged with air. That air pushes against the bladder and, and this is what gives you pressure inside the house. Um, Sometimes you, these will go bad, they'll get what we call waterlogged, and the way you can tell that is, is to uh, turn the, the electricity off, drain your tank of all the water inside of it, you can put an air gauge up here, and if there's no air in it, then your tank is bad, or you can shake your tank, and uh, it's really heavy if it's full of water, and you'll know that you have a waterlogged tank. With the uh, electricity off and all the water gone, this tank should be relatively light and you should be able to move it when you shake it. Now over here to my right or your left is what we call a galvanized tank. Now a galvanized tank works a little different than um, the way the bladder tank works. When the pump kicks on on a galvanized system it shoots a 20 foot column of air into the tank that air is compressed and then that's what pressurizes your water in the house. Now a way to tell whether or not your galvanized system is um, working properly or as healthy, if you will, is if you take your hand and you place it at the top and you run your hand down, you're going to feel a difference in uh, temperature. Now, ideally, your this should be air up here and then the rest should be water. Now, I don't know if you can see on the video, but we can see a line right here. It's a little darker than it is up here, and so we know this is where the water is because, one, we can see it, and two, we can feel the temperature difference. Now water, that when it comes out of, a, uh, out of the ground, is 68 degrees, so you'll be able to feel the difference in the summer and you'll be able to feel the difference in the winter. Once again, galvanized systems are not always um, silver or gray. Some of them come in blue tanks and they might be a little shorter. Some of them come in a fiberglass or an epoxy tank and uh, they're about the color of the bladder tank that we just looked at. Another way to tell that you have a galvanized system or a standard system is if you look over here on the side of your tank, you're going to see what we call an air volume control valve and your pressure gauge. Now this air volume control valve, what its purpose is, if there's too much air inside the tank, the air is released through this air volume control valve and that way you don't get air in your lines inside the house. And then your pressure gauge tells you how much pressure you have. If you come outside and uh, because you're experiencing air in your lines in the house and you shake your tank and it's really light, then you know that your, your tank is what we call air locked and you need a new air volume control valve. You can call your water well guys and they can come out or you can call us, All American Water, and we'll come out and replace your air volume control valve. Now if uh, you're out in your well house and you're experiencing or you're hearing your pump kick on and kick off, it'll go click, 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 click and you're experiencing a uh, pressure and then no pressure in the house while you're taking a shower or something like that, your tank may be waterlogged. And when your tank is waterlogged, it uh, usually is an indicator of a bad check valve, a bad bleeder valve, or a bad snifter valve, and those will um, follow up in uh, other classes we'll give on water wells. And uh, what it will do is cause your pump to short cycle and shorten the life of your pump. Now we can look at this pressure tank here, this galvanized tank, and uh, down here at the bottom, we can see that it's got a hole in it. Now it's seeping and it seems to actually have just plugged itself, but we can tell that this, this uh, galvanized tank is not a healthy tank. And so um, the, the homeowners here, uh, they know they have a problem with their tank, but they're still not using us to uh, fix the hole or fix the problem. And that's okay. A lot of people, because of um, today's economy, just choose to milk things along and that's alright. However, when it comes to your pump clicking on and off and on and off, please call your favorite water wheel guys. You can call us at 
389-6850 because to replace a pump can be extremely expensive. And uh, if we can put a Band-Aid on some stuff to help you get along, that's great, but uh, we're not doctors. We, we don't want to practice water well work. What we actually want to do is fix the problem and not the symptom. Well, I thank you for uh, listening to us today. And uh, once again, we're All American Water. And if you've got any problems with your well, please call us at 940-389-6850. And have a great day.